David Bay here for MuscularDevelopment.com. We are in Las Vegas for the 2016 NPC USAs. I'm here with Team Redcon 1. I have Turner Riddle, Matt Jansen, and John Jewett here with me. Uh, Matt kind of helming this team here as a coach, but also as a competitor this weekend. So first off, congratulations. You had a big win at the Flex Lewis Show um, just two weeks ago, was yeah, it? Just two weekends ago. Uh, last two Saturdays ago, I won that the overall at the show. So um, just to kind of touch on things really quick, I, I, I came here really to coach these guys, and I'm really looking forward to being backstage with them. John competed last year as a middleweight. He's coming back this year as a heavy. Uh, Turner's last national show was in 2014 at Nationals. Um, so they've made a ton of improvement, and I'm just blessed to be able to be backstage with them, help them out, and Turner and I are going to be on stage together. It's just going to be a lot of fun. Now, Turner, for national level competition, you're a pretty young guy, relatively. Um, how old are you right now? 25. 25. Now, you were fifth or sixth place in 2014, weren't you? Th 13. I was a middleweight in 13, came back in 14 as a light heavy and kind of, you know, didn't do worth it. But, yeah. but, your, but your first shot as a middleweight, you did, you did fairly well, didn't sixth you? Sixth place, yes. Yeah, sixth place at what, were you 22 at the time? Yep. So 22 years old, getting sixth place at, at, at Nationals, that, that's pretty impressive. You've had a couple of years to put on some size, um, which clearly you've done. Um, you seem to have a lot of muscle maturity for somebody your age. I think, you know, we, we use that word uh, a lot of times when it should really just be using the word conditioning. Right. Um, but, but you seem like you've been able to add a lot of mass and a lot of size. Talk to us a little bit about what you've been doing over the last couple of years. I, I just train hard and heavy, um, and I eat what I'm supposed to eat. Uh, year round, and I, and I just enjoy training. So um, you know, I'm not I'm I'm an instinctive trainer, and it's just hard as I can for as long as I can, and I leave and eat. All right, man. Now talking about hard training, um, one of the big stories of this weekend, John. You were a middleweight last year, and arguably the most conditioned guy in the show. As we had just talked in another interview, I had used uh, a close-up of your backside as an example of um, of what good conditioning should be, and also to shut people up who said guys don't come in shredded anymore. So you were really peeled last year as a middleweight. Um, you're a heavyweight this year. Ten pounds is a good progress in a year. Mm -hmm. Twenty pounds is crazy progress in a year. You're going to be about forty pounds heavier than you were last year. Talk to us about that, man. Yeah, well, definitely after the show. Well, for for you last year, we sucked down to middleweight, so I was really about 185. But I've never had like a coach with Matt to take me through post show and all the way through off season. So that was number one to actually show me to we need to keep pushing food post you know post show. Um, also went to more of a high frequency training, which seemed to help too, and keeping me leaner in the off season. So coming into this show. I started a lot leaner point and was able to grow into the show. So um, the whole time it was just optimizing all those variables with training and nutrition and supplementation to get the most out of it. And I just responded phenomenally. All right, now heavyweight's a, a big class, is uh, not not competitor wise, but as far as uh, the the weight range, um, where did you weigh in at? Two fifteen point two. Okay, so you're uh, pretty well into the heavyweights, about halfway into it. Now when you're when you're training somebody who who who's adding size like this as a, as a coach I mean is, is there some point where you I mean we just pushing more food more food more food and just I mean what what you know what kind of game plan gets gets progress like that I almost I almost said gains I don't ever want to say I don't ever want to say I don't ever want to say gains what kind of game plan is, is 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 achieving progress like that well really really it comes down to the testament of his hard work and and he approached his entire offseason his entire rebound just like it was a contest prep which I think is a vital part of, of truly making progress um, and you know after that we, we didn't really my thing is I don't ever want to force feed somebody to the point where they're getting stomach distension you know so we never push it to that level um, but really it was just more so just consistent food you know he never missed a meal never missed a training session we're, we're in pretty consistent communication and then just making you know changes now, now last year when we prepped last year the main goal was fat loss I would say because we had a short time to work it was our first year working together whereas this year we had a, 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 st a set point of conditioning that we wanted to reach, but it wasn't just trying to achieve fat loss. It was trying to maintain the, the tissue that he had gained while achieving the same level of conditioning. All right. Well, we can't, we can't wait to see the results. I know I speak from that as a, as a fan, as a media person. Um, you looked fantastic last year. Now, Turner, um, 
at this level, you know, everybody's gunning to win. Everybody's kind of looking to chop everybody else's head off. But, um, you know, when we talk about bodybuilding in the 70s, 80s, 90s, we talk about camaraderie, things like that. You're getting on stage against your coach. I mean, is that a little bit, uh, oh, is that a little bit uh, 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 something different for you? Or, or how are you approaching going against somebody that you're, you know, legitimately friends with and that you're close with? Uh, it, to be honest with you, it's very different. And it was a big pride pill for me to swallow. I, I hired him um, about four weeks. I, I wanted to add this. Like, um, I like to do everything myself, and it's kind of I'm gonna do what I want, and that's just how I am. But um, I, I, I prepped myself in, into the show four weeks ago, and um, I just ran myself into the ground. And I knew Dallas and I are really good friends, and um, I saw what he did with Dallas. He's not much older than me. I'm not very old. And I mean, John's John's older than both of us, so Matt really knows what he's doing. I'm well, older I, than all of you. I mean, I'm older than everybody. How hard he really. Uh, I mean, how hard he works at his job, how passionate he is at his job, and um, you know, yeah, like I said, when I when I him and I kind of got into it a little bit, and I was like, you know, I don't know that I like this, but um, I went up to his house and I stayed with him for the week prior to this, and it, it was not like com anything competitive or trying to one up. We just both kind of have the same mindset of training really, really hard, and you know, so whoever's the best uh, tomorrow and Saturday is who the best is. All right, guys. We'll tell you what, man. I I, I know. Oh. But I mean, we all want to win. Don't don't. You know, that's just how it is. We all have that. You know. And I'm just gonna be, you know, just to be honest, um, I'll be just as proud of these guys watching myself being on the sideline, getting them called out, as I would be being up there with them. You know, that's that to me is is going to be the ultimate honor is getting to see them called out in the first call out where they belong. Yeah, a little bit of an interesting dynamic. You know, generally speaking, as a competitor, anybody who's been on stage, I've been there, you guys have all been there. When you're standing on the side, there's that first call out, and it's not your number. There's, it really kind of lets the air out of it. But if you're on that side, you might not be in it, but yeah, if he's I mean, in it, I'm you're going to kind of still be, yeah, yeah, he's still going to be on the sideline. So, no, definitely, definitely cool. And, and again, it's cool to see guys working together. Um, you know, it's it's something that we talk about a lot that's been lost in bodybuilding, guys really working together, supporting each other. There's there's so many egos and, and so many fragile egos in this sport that it seems like one of the things that's been lost. So it's really cool to see a team of guys come together, work hard, support each other. And, you know, from for myself and everybody at MD, wish you guys the best of luck coming up tomorrow. Um, one thing I know, we're going to see a couple guys in really good shape. Guys, that is all going to start tomorrow at noon. Remember, that is Pacific time. So for you guys in New York, 3 o'clock, prejudging starts. Um, we're starting with the bodybuilders. So things are going to get rolling right away. They're going to get these guys on stage and get them off as soon as they can so they can get their business done. But uh, we're going to have our play-by-play -play live pictures going up of all the call-outs and everything like that that you guys are used to. So make sure to check back. Let us know what you think. But we're going to wrap it up, guys. So one more time, this is David Bay, Turner Riddle, Matt Jansen, and John Jewett from MuscularDevelopment.com from the 2016 NPC USAs here in Las Vegas.